It's Wednesday, July 14th, 2010. Welcome here, FreeTrainVideos.com, D7. And news breaking here, the Fed lowers growth outlook on the GDP. Uh, the Fed right now for 2010 sees the GDP uh, dropping to 3 to 3.5% three versus the 3.2 to 3.7% projected earlier in the year. Ouch. Uh, retail sales also fall here in June by 0.5%. Ouch. What's interesting here is I've been watching the financial stocks this week, which have been doing exceptionally well, boating quite well for the markets and for a little recovery here on the downtrend that we've been receiving. However, as of today and on this breaking economic news, uh, we're seeing uh, financial stocks taking it on the chin, not so well, but this is how the markets ended up the day today. We had the Dow up just a hair. Dow is down and Russell's down. Russell's down almost a fall, 0.5%. And uh, we see an increase in the NASDAQ. So the market's mixed right now. We are looking at the spiders, SPY, which is the ETF on the S&P 500. And as a technician, I wanted to show you something that we are seeing here. Going back in time, this goes back to late April. You see a resistance point, a resistance point at this swing, or the two swings you could call it, coming down to about the middle or latter part of June, another major swing, and we could bring that trend line down, and sure enough, the last couple days, we just smack it, blowing it up a lot bigger here. You see that the 50-day moving average, the red moving average right there, 50-day moving average is acting as resistance. So it needs to pop up over that to continue bullish. The other thing I'm seeing um, on the price action is that we have a gap to fill here. Um, there's a, a good chance to see it come down and want to fill that, finding support. Remember, most gaps that fill, there, there's a support area right there. But for this market to drop, like it looks like it wants to, it looks like it's wanting to head southbound. For that to happen, it really needs to fill that gap, go below that, and actually close probably below that 20-day simple moving average. If it were to close below that, then I would uh, be thinking more confidently of going short on this down leg. Now let's move down to volume. On volume, uh, let's go back a little bit here. So you see this down leg? This down leg, look what happened in the volume, went up, 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 and started spiking right there. See that? On the up leg, volume down, 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 down. Look at volume as your worth or, vo uh, or power of the move. The worth of the down leg was increasing. The worth of the up leg decreasing. So this is telling me there's a nice chance of seeing a down leg develop itself. Let's go down to an indicator, MACD at 5, 9, and 2. On the big picture, we have a bullish divergence with a higher swing low. See this higher swing low? We have a lower swing low there. That's a bullish divergence, giving credence to, with even a pullback, we could get a trend reversal, meaning a double bottom finding support here. That gives you an inverted end shoulder, shoulder, head, and shoulder. Or you just build a base in which it gives it something to launch from. Um, so it could do that also. But far as statistics are concerned, far as price action in a downtrend hitting major resistance and the decline of volume, and what I'm seeing in the MACD, see this? The histogram dropping, 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 which is denoted here on the MACD line with the signal line coming together like it's ready to cross. Look at this, last time it crossed back here, look what happened, major drop. So if this crosses, perhaps we'll get another major drop. Nothing saying it can't do that. As far as I'm concerned with what I'm seeing in the MACD, it wouldn't surprise me because we also 
penetrated 61.8 percent Fibonacci and that may not make sense to a lot of you but for those it's um, technically inclined you know what I'm talking about there it has pierced that so I think that there's a a great chance of a pullback but I think that we are in the uh, at the big very very beginning stages of a trend reversal taking place that means either a trend reversal will go into a sideways trend which is called a trading range or it will go into an uptrend which would be great for bulls out there in the bull market so there you have it you're getting the very best here of technical analysis here at freetradingvideos.com stay tuned for Matador's information tomorrow. And just to let you know, if you are missing out on the V newsletter, you're missing out on a lot. If you want to know what our trades are each and every week, our our picks, our bullish picks and our bearish picks, you know, look into the V newsletter. Go to freetrainingvideos.com, click on services and check it out for yourself. Take care. Happy trading.